We'll take a run through how to do an unincorporated business on state accounts production and then through it into the taxation software. So start off, make sure that you've got accounts production and business tax open in the background. So go into accounts production itself and click on to clients, which will open up your client list. The client I'm going to be working on is Liz Smith Demo. So you double click on that to open it up. And there are several ways of getting information into the accounts production software. You can either input a journal directly into here, or you can import through the tools menu, and you can import directly from Sage 50 accounts or instant accounts. You can either import the full transactional detail or just the final trial balance at the year end. I've previously done a full transaction import for this client, so that means that we will be able to see the detail behind the trial balance. You can also import as a CSV file, so if you have an Excel file, for example, that can also be imported directly into accounts production so that you don't need to re-key in all your journals. So to see what's already been posted, if you click onto the journals window, and you'll see in here it includes everything that was imported as from directly from Sage 50 accounts. A nicer way to see that is if you come over to the left hand navigator menu and go into simple trial balance. I'll have a nice summary of the 2012 year end. And if you simply double click on any of these nominal codes, you'll see the full transactional detail that sits in behind that. So very handy being able to drill down to that underlying detail without having to reopen up Sage 50 accounts. So once you have the financial information in there, you simply come into the database and you review each of the different areas within the database to ensure that the details are accurate for your client. So under accounts options, if you want to produce final accounts, you can tick and that means that the draft stamp which appears on the accounts automatically will disappear. Review the dates of the signing off for the accountant's report and the balance sheet as well. Client information, there are different tabs which can be completed in here. And once this information is set up in the first year, then it will be able to be accessed again year on year. So you don't need to key in this information every year. You just do it in the first year. So journals and database are the two areas that you enter information to be able to produce a set of accounts for a client. And then to run off the accounts themselves, come up here to the Pages option, choose Selection along the bottom, and you can either have a Accounts, including a simple P&L with no notes, or you can include the notes. You can have management accounts, lead schedules. So for this one, I'm going to include the notes. Click on to print, and you do have the option to export to Word or PDF or to email as a Word or PDF file. However, I'll simply just preview these accounts. So this is a simple sole trader. And you can see that even the prior year information has been imported directly in from Sage 50 accounts. So I haven't done any additional input yet. Close out of that window. Once you've made the necessary adjustments as the accountant to that set of financial statements, if you're happy that they have been finalised, you can then send that information directly over into the taxation software. So to do that, come back up to your tools menu and export, tax export, and for an unincorporated business, whether it be a sole trader or a partnership, you would send it over to business tax. Click on to business tax and you'll see that it's going to export it out to this location and you simply click export and click OK. 
So we can now minimise our accounts production software and open up our business tax. So within here, I would simply click onto the import button to pull the most up-to-date information through for this client. I pick up the client file and I click on to import. This populates the adjusted profit computation. And if you expand the area on the left hand side under standard accounts information and double click onto income and expenses, you'll see that you have tabs for income, direct costs and expenditure. So if you want to adjust any add backs, simply click onto the relevant tab. Click onto the item that you want to disallow an element of, onto the three buttons at the end, and you simply type in the amount that is disallowable. Once you're happy with that, you can review the balance sheet. If the balance sheet is not necessary, you sim simply tick this box. Moving on to capital allowances, we have schedules for annual investment allowance, plant and machinery, single asset pools, special rate assets and the main pool. So if we double click on the main pool, this is the first year that you're setting it up. You can simply input the balance. And if you click onto the type, you do get the initial written down value brought forward and put in there. The proprietary details and the business details are automatically populated. So at this point, if you're happy with everything that's been completed, you can review the reports in here. Print them out as you see fit. For example, your adjusted profit computation. And then click onto AC100 and that will then populate this individual's tax return. launch directly into personal tax. And if you look under the earned income, you now have full information all completed successfully with green ticks under the list Miss Demo Client. You can review that information in here. Here's our add back coming through and any capital allowances, computation details. So at that point you have access to enter any additional income that that individual has, for example employment income, any other self-employment or partnerships that are involved with, any savings, whether it be bank interest um, or dividends foreign income, any other income, any individual capital gains, and the software does cover every scenario that an individual will experience that has to be completed on the SE100. So if all of the details will be reviewed in there and then when you're happy you would click on to return. and it opens up the tax return viewer. And then the tax return viewer, you can see the AC100 form 
the separate pages can be accessed on the navigator down the left hand side. And you can also get access to the self-employment pages through here as well, which are automatically populated. You can then submit the return once you've gone through the validation process. There is full validation within the software, so it will pick up the fact that there are certain areas that I need to go back and review before I can submit. But when you've cleared all of these validation messages, you can simply generate your final return and submit it directly to HMRC from within the taxation software. That completes the demonstration of an unincorporated business submitting taxation directly to HMRC through our integrated practice software. Thank you.